With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question given here is, when 1 liter of NaOH, 1 molar is mixed with the 1 liter of HCl, that is 1 molar, the temperature of reaction mixture rises by 10 degrees centigrade. When 1 liter of NaOH, that is having concentration 1 molar, is mixed with 2 liter of 0.4 molar HCl, this time the temperature of the reaction mixture rises approximately by so there are two conditions are given in our question and in the first condition it is told that when we are mixing the equimolar solutions of NaOH and HCl and with the equal volume then the temperature of the reaction mixture is rising by 10 degree centigrade okay so as it is first case so we are denoting it with the subscript T1 delta T1 is 10 degree centigrade so there is 10 degree centigrade rise in the temperature Let's consider the second case. When we are mixing two solutions and this time they are not equimolar and not volume is also not same. So volume is 1 liter and 2 liter of HCl and then NaOH is 1 molar and HCl is 0.5 molar this time. So we have to calculate the temperature of the reaction mixture, rise in temperature of the reaction mixture. So this has to be find out. If you will see the question, then you can find out that the number of moles when used, this time in the first case in HCl and NaOH, both are same. Okay. And in the second case also, you can see that the 1 liter of NaOH when mixed with the 2 liter of 0.5 molar HCl, then the number of moles are also same this time. Okay. Each time we have 1 mole of each component. So, that is a solution which is having equimolar concentrations. Okay. Now, we can find a relationship between the temperature and volume. As we can see in the second case, what is happening? Volume is getting doubled and the molarity is getting halved. Okay. So, we can say the volume is increasing here. And what is the relationship between the temperature and volume? With the change in temperature, what happens? Volume decreases. Or there is inverse relationship between the temperature and volume. Can you guess the reason why? Because as the volume increases, the surface area increases. And that's why the temperature decreases. So, there is an inverse relationship between them. So, we can write that V into delta T would be equal to a constant. Okay. And if it is equal to a constant and if we are considering the two cases, then we can write it like this. V1 into delta T1 is equal to V2 into delta T2. Okay. So, by writing this, we can calculate the delta T2 value, value here. As we are provided with the values of V1, delta T1 and delta T2. Now, let's put the values here. That is, first uh, delta T1 is 10. And then V1 is 2. Then V2 given is 3. How we have calculated the V2 and V1? Because initially, initially because there was 1 liter and 1 liter. So it is total volume that is 2 liter for the V1 case. So we can write it here that for V1 it is total volume is 2 liter. And for the second case total volume became 1 liter and 2 liter. That is 3 liter here. Okay. So, we are putting these values here. That is 3 into delta T2. So, let's find out delta T2 here. So, delta T2 on solving this term, we'll get, we will get the expression like this. That is 2 by 3. So, it will come out to be 6.67 degree centigrade. So, we find an average increase in the temperature in the second case. So, let's see in the given options which one is showing us this value. Thus, we can see that the option C is giving us this value and this is a correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.